When Marvel Studios officially took over everything at Marvel, including Marvel Entertainment, aka the TV division, they put a stop to everything that they were developing, including the currently, or at the time, ongoing Cloak and Dagger and The Runaways. Now, both of those shows generally wrap up everything they started, but we've heard for a while that The Runaways will be returning to the MCU. And we already know that some of these characters are finding their way back into multiverse projects, so let's talk about the apparent continuation or soft reboot of The Runaways. Chances are if you've been on this channel or listened to our podcast for a while, you've heard me ramble about The Runaways, and I truly in my heart believe that this is the second best Marvel Entertainment slash Marvel TV series that was produced before everything got folded into Marvel Studios with Daredevil being number one. The series is unique, it's different, it has some very cool aspects, a completely different feel to anything else that Marvel TV did. They clearly spent a lot more money on it than most of the other TV series, so if it turns out to be true that they are in fact uh, bringing back the Runaways, I am all for this. And we've heard multiple times in the last year, year and a half, that this is going to be happening. And that more or less that after Nico appears in the upcoming Spider-Man animated series coming to Disney Plus, aka Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, that then the characters will start folding into live action and almost be brought back like they were in the comics where it's like Runaways New Generation or whatever that second take was. I'll be real with you, I only got a couple issues into that one and I never picked it back up. Not that it was bad, I just love the original feel of the Runaways and how unique and different it was and... When the characters end up growing too much, you kind of remove a lot of those elements of them being the runaways. So I honestly do think that they could take that element, put it into the MCU, and then run with it. <laughs> no pun intended. But also do something really cool with it by maybe introducing these characters in upcoming projects. Like Nico, for example. Maybe she appears in live action as well. As one of Peter Parker's uh, neighbors. Or somebody that's going to school with him or maybe some of the other characters do as well like Alex or somebody and I really think that that could be really cool to expand the universe roll cloak and dagger in there as well because both of these tv series actively mentioned the events of what was going on in the Netflix series and they were supposed to cross over before everything was shut down so I do think that they have an opportunity here to introduce these characters bring them in and then once we get to inevitably Secret Wars and the whole Battle World concept, you got them all there. And then everybody can question why there's a running intelligent velociraptor that a bunch of kids hang out with in their flying frog car. I didn't make any of this up. That's literally The Runaways. You should definitely check out The Runaways.